Hi, today's video is going to be about population genetics. And here is a problem. Consider a locus with alleles dominant A and recessive A in a large randomly mating population under the influence of mutation. If the mutation rate of uh, dominant inter recessive is 6 uh, multiplied by 10 raised minus 5, and the back mutation uh, rate inter dominant is 7 multiplied by 10 raised minus 7, what is the equilibrium frequency of the recessive allele A? And if you know how to solve this problem, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own, and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So in order to solve this problem, everything uh, we have to know is just a simple formula where, where Q equilibrium would equal to u divided by u plus v where u stands for the rate of the forward uh, mutation and v stands for the rate of the backward mutation so in order to solve uh, today's problem we just have to know this formula and if your professor would allow uh, cheat shit on your exam that's good if not just remember uh, this uh, arrows that uh, on the top forward forward on the bottom plus backward so this is uh, raise a simple formula and uh, let's now apply this formula to uh, our problem so q would equal to uh, forward rate of mutation is 6 multiplied by 10 raised minus 5 divided by uh, the same number forward uh, mutation rate that is 6 multiplied by 10 raised minus 5 plus uh, backward mutation rate that is 7 multiplied by 10 raised minus 7 and as you see um, backward mutation is much smaller than forward mutation rate so uh, what we are going to get here would be 0 0.00006 same number on the bottom forward mutation plus 0 0.00007 and this is going to be uh, once again 0 0.00006 divided by 0 0.607 on the bottom. So uh, the final answer would be 0 0.988 and this is going to be our answer today. And as you see, this is very easy calculations. Sometimes you even don't need a calculator. But still, as you see, uh, you just have to know this formula. And uh, when you know the formula, all the calculations are uh, relatively easy to do. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your questions, comments if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.